What problems are you trying to solve that Flink might be a good fit for? Maybe the existing system you're working with is too slow and you need something real time. Perhaps you've hit limitations with your existing platform and need to move to something more scalable. Are you frustrated dealing with flaky batch jobs and want something more reliable? Maybe you already use Flink, but you'd rather have a managed platform to ease the pain of hosting your own. Regardless of why you clicked on this video, I'm glad you did. I've put together a series of videos and hands-on exercises that will show how to use Flink to interact with Kafka topics as though they were relational database tables. But if you're anything like me, you'll be dreading the idea of writing a bunch of SQL code. The good news is we'll be using the Flink table API in Java, which means no SQL knowledge is required. And no, that doesn't mean this is a no SQL database because it's not a database. Don't worry, it'll make more sense as we go through the course. Oh, and did I mention it's completely free? So follow along with me on Confluent Developer and I'll show you how to create a series of jobs to consume data streams in real time. If you aren't already on Confluent Developer, check the link in the video description to find the course. And I'll see you in the next video.